how quickly your miles and money add up. The average Mile IQ subscriber saves $547 a month. That's more than $6,500 a year. Plus, Mile IQ is secure. It keeps all of your information private, only visible to you, giving you access to reports for your tax returns or expenses whenever you need them. Customers love Mile IQ. Mile IQ has five star ratings and it's the leading mileage tracking app from the Apple App Store and Google Play. So, what are you waiting for? Take control, download it for free, and join the millions of drivers who trust Mile IQ. Download Mile IQ and get 40 free drives. Try Mile IQ for free right now. Download this app directly from this video. Tap on the video once, then click the Visit Advertiser link at the top of your screen or click the Install button here. text message or however or wherever you choose to share our videos. Thank you. 
uh, situations where this is how we live. We go to the mall, we at the airport, we at school, uh, where else? This is everywhere. Every fuck of the club. And then it was a, a club killer in Turkey on New Year's Day. It's just too much more than this way. It just makes me want to stay in front of them. It, it just, my, my business. But you can't, you cannot live in fear. What we need to do is we just have to live our lives. And when it comes to fight or flight, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta run. We gotta get out of the situation and do whatever we gotta do. Get out of the situation. But these things are happening at friends and everything. But you can barely even defend yourself. That man just pulled that gun out and just started shooting. And I felt bad for the whole lady. I don't know if she could have been running that. Like everybody was shot. And then once they realized what was going on, they was running. The old lady hid behind the car. I would have popped my ass over the chair. But you got to do what you got to do. But you can't do all this shit. Watching it. And situations like this are very, very 
very complex. They really are. He went in there saying that he was hearing voices in the He never said that he, he never went in there saying that he wanted to join ISIS or anything like that. He just went in there and talked crazy. So then they turned him over to the local police saying, listen, you know, they do send this guy to the mental, you know, uh, hospital, whatever the case may be. And then I guess he went and he was evaluated, this, that, and the third, and then they released him saying that he had that post-traumatic whistling. But there was never any clear signs that he was going to do the way what he did. did. And what the former guy, what the FBI agent on there said was, listen, we get cases like this every single day where people are saying crazy stuff and things like that. He said, now just imagine the public outrage if we were to actually arrest these people and not even... Well, you don't have to arrest them. You can send them somewhere to get help. Well, that's what they did. <laughs> Yeah. To the cops. Well, no, they sent them to the cops, so the cops could send them to a mental hospital, which they did. And the mental hospital released him. So it's like you. It's like he didn't. He didn't say anything terroristic when he went to the FBI. He just was in there talking crazy. It's kind of like you can't foresee certain things because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, and why was he able to legally carry a gun if he's been saying that's his own idea? Yeah, he, 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 fucking gun control and gun laws from crazy people like him. Or maybe he was fine before he got a gun, and then he, you go away to these wars, these men come back, you don't come back the same. Even some of them act like they are right. No, bitch, nobody comes back the same. That's why everybody needs a mental evaluation when they come back. Somebody every come, yeah. Well, yeah, I meant to say when they come back. No, 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 you didn't say it. Oh, and then the was just really, I was oh, with you, you know, I'm talking real fast. No, I'm, I'm bad. You know, and, and then you keep talking about you got all these, all they want to take the guns away. No, nobody wants to take your gun away. Everybody should be able to uh, carry a gun legally if they feel like they need it for their safety, especially in these times. Yes, people do need a gun and uh, or, or need to, you know, want to carry a gun. But people like him or that claim that they have mental issues, they don't need a gun because they can use it at any time, anywhere, any. Any place, like it, it's just horrible. And I feel like now they always take one time to take. They always take something for something to happen where people say, "Oh, we got to crack down on this, crack down on that." You would think that it would happen with the school children, right? You know what's so funny? Because I never thought about it until this incident happened. When you're at the airport, yes, people carry guns on the plane all the time. Not in their check, not in their carry on, but in their check because you have to check it out. I never thought about it until this incident happened on Friday. Yes, once you get your badge, you can go in your bag, and go into the bathroom and pull your gun out and such with people. Like I never even thought about it until this happened, and I'm like, wow, like it's crazy because now I can see me now. This is another thing that I have to worry about when I go out in public or even at the airport. You know, you don't really socialize with me at the airport. Be gone. I might run to the bathroom, but now I'm gonna get my bag and get the fuck out. But keep my bag. Go. And I've lost planes many a times that I've never thought about something like this. Yeah. And normally when you hear about shooting at the airport, you hear about it when they get into the airport right. and start shooting out when people are leaving. So then it makes you even it makes you want to be more careful because you got people that sometimes park their car and they come in and wait for you to arrive at the airport. Yeah. Like it's yeah, bitch. You yeah. gotta do something with security. Yeah. You know, all this DSA, yeah. all of y'all need to get on your fucking jobs. Yes, yeah. yeah. that's true. You can't come to the people. We got to Puerto Rico last month. <laughs> so we got off our plane and we were at bay. First of all, that was the worst bag claim I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> The people were out in the street coming in, and I remember saying to one of my friends, like, wow, like, I didn't know they could come in not thinking, like, yeah, you can, because they do it here in the United States, too. You can come right in the airport when somebody's getting off the plane. You can literally walk in the airport, and I have to check by nobody. Okay? You can wait until get off the plane. Yeah, or, like, when you come in, you know, normally you drop them off, but sometimes they go in and they yeah, get them yeah, out of there. Yeah. But, bitch, you can have a gun on you the whole time. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I shouldn't even be talking like this. But it's true. You have bombs in 2017. Yes. That's true. That happens. But you don't see the bombs that the dog team get upstairs to the actual security screen here. When you at the front desk, you don't see no damn bombs in the door. It's crazy. 
it's just it's like so much, so so many new measures that can be taken at the airport. Like this ball, yeah. see Donald Trump. This is what you need to be worried about instead of Meryl Streep. Right. Okay. Okay. Because she didn't tell no lies. No, she did not. And she did for five minutes. For five minutes, and she didn't even mention his name. <laughs> Moving on to the 2017 Golden Globes. Now, I watched this whole show. It's like the first time. I didn't watch Jimmy Fallon's opening number. I could be saying, I don't know. What's my love? But I must say, I was entertained. And there was no musical performances at all. It was just people coming out presenting the series of musical performances. It's never like they're not. I was surprised like they didn't even do a song performance or anything like that. They don't do that too But I was, uh, I was just, uh, and then I was happy that the show Atlanta won. I watched a couple of episodes, the 30 minute episodes that come on FX. Um, they won best. Played by fucking Chi Chi. They won Best Musical Comedy TV Series and also um, the actor Donald Glover, or Donald, I don't know if it's Glover or Glover, Donald Glover or Donald Glover, he won Best Actor in a Comedic Series or Comedy and Musical Series TV. You know, it's funny because when he won, that was the first time I ever heard him talk. Really? Because I've never seen the show. And every time I see him in pictures and stuff, like, it's pictures, and I've never actually heard him speak, so I never see what his voice sounded like until he won. And I was like, it's, it's definitely a good show. Now, the first episode, it was kind of slow for me, because I was trying to figure out what was going on, but then it was just like, it was good. I don't know if it's still on, um... The DVR, but if it is, I definitely say check out their show, FX. I'm in Atlanta. It's called Atlanta. And I think a lot of people have said, oh, there's not a lot of gay people. From what I've seen, I haven't seen the gay people. You know, Atlanta's full of them. But, but I'm trying to hear. Because gay people have a difference that's making their own hair tonight. Viola Davis won her first Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. In a drama or I think just drama theory, and I was really happy for her. What she won for? She won for Fences. Oh, best supporting actress. Best supporting actress for Fences, a movie that I need to see, even though it's two hours and twenty seven minutes. And that's what movie I seen this weekend for the first time. You won't be mad at me, but love. I watched that whole movie. I remember people to go to the movies, to go to the movies to see that too. It was it was crazy. It was crazy, and I ain't really like crazy much. Yeah, no, that was Tandy Newton. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you said Kelly Lee. I said Tandy Newton. Yeah, she was definitely crazy. Kelly Lee was in the gym. Like, bitch, how was she able to act like that the whole movie? Whole movie. Bitch, I'm gonna be crazy. But you know, that was the one that Oprah. Remember, she in the flashback and she was swinging her around in the shed. Mm -hmm. Remember, she killed those, her kids in the shed mm -hmm. so the white people would take them. Yes, that was the one she was swinging around and they ended up getting a slave master quarter. Like, no, I 
I'll never tell her that. She was just, he's like, well, you need to. If you don't, I'm going to do it. I don't know why she didn't do it, but maybe she's like, I'm here to work. Let's get this film together. And I love Doubt. Doubt is good. And I've only seen it about two, three times. I've never seen the whole movie, but from what I saw, like, I need to yes. see the movie. That movie is good. And it's, it's real. That shit is real, okay? It's pastors or preachers out here that's doing these things to children and what they do is they send you to a different church instead of locking your ass up and then they don't tell you why they transfer and then there's potential for more children to be lost. It, it was terrible it was, you have to see doubt if you've never seen doubt watch the movie, it's really really good and then the ending like, you've not, you not seen the ending oh god, it's so good it's so good. The crown, the um, the girl that played Elizabeth, she won. Queen Elizabeth, she won. The crown won best drama series. Netflix is coming. These Netflix is coming up in the world with these uh award shows and Amazon. Like they are really doing a damn thing. It doesn't it doesn't really mean anything just to be on network television anymore. Cable TV and the internet is where all of these shows are winning. And um, shout out to Issa Rae. I didn't even know she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress. I mean, for Best Actress. They had, they had about three black women there. Tracy Ellis Ross won Best Actress in a comedy series. Blackish. And I heard she's the first actress in 34 years since Debbie Allen's won in that category. I don't know how true that is. Because wasn't, wasn't, yeah, it's not. One thing that surprises consumers the most is the quality of plans and that each plan on the marketplace must cover 10 essential items in order to be offered on the marketplace. One of those is free checkups. One day I had a woman come in as a walk-in client and had many health problems and I was able to take the burden off of her shoulders. I've always loved helping people. When the option came to help people get health insurance, I jumped right on it. Go to nystateofhealth.ny.gov or call 1-855-355-5777 to find out more. Michael Lisha Rashad, never best comedic actress. Or well, maybe that was an Emmy. I don't know. Remember, the Emmys is for television, even though the Golden Globes is for television as well. But it can it can possibly be very much so true. Because I've been watching the Golden Globes for a very long time. And I don't ever remember a black woman ever winning that uh, that top honor like that for the best actress in the uh, TV series. Or comedic series, anyway. Yeah, black is just good because they tackle every subject right it's, it's, it's a really good show if you never watch it comes on wednesday at 9 30 i know a lot of people be watching empire but you also say dvr you can watch black it's the show is fun especially jennifer Lewis. she made to me she makes the show even more fun too. so you yeah, check that out but la la land la la land i definitely want to see moonlight is the movie that i seen back in november and I told you guys, make sure y'all go see this film. And I didn't think that the actors would get nominated, but actor Mahershala Ali, he was nominated, but he did not win. And they lost five or six categories, but they won the main category for best drama. Best drama film. So it seems like when the Oscar nominations come out in a couple of weeks or so, it seems like it's going to be. It also looks like it looks like, like, it looks like too that probably. Uh, the Golden Globes this year was the way the Oscars should have looked last year. And I think the Oscars are probably You know what I'm shocked I'm shocked that um, Birth of the Nation wasn't nominated for anything. No, it's only gonna be nominated for black things, for black shows. But it wasn't that good of a film. Like we were there and we watched it. I thought it was a good film though. Not to be nominated, and I told you that when we when we said we went to warm daddies, I said why would they nominate this one for you that I don't know, but I'll check 
it out. But Corky B. Banks was great as him. And I, I just don't see how he goes. Because these kids just too good of an actor. Just be good of an actor. But I know I shouldn't say that because that's a little biased or somewhat. And then Meryl Streep gets on board and she brings into Donald Trump. Um, she wants to protect the press. Um, she was naming all the foreign actors and actresses that were there and how people grew up in America. She just, she just, she went on how Hollywood is full of foreigners. Yeah. And if we don't have the foreigners, then well, I guess we'll just have to watch the ball. And I just enjoyed that speech. Some people feel like, oh, this is not the right place, this is not the right time. But I think this is the perfect platform for you to get up on your soapbox. I mean, she didn't even talk. She talked more about what's going on in this country than just to be thankful for everybody to help her get to where she is now. And the movie industry, she's like the, with the platinum standard or the diamond standard for when it comes to an acting career. This woman is in her 60s. I mean, yeah. And I mean, she could get a role for anything. And every, she's so fucking good as an actress, she gets nominated for her performance. It's not even about the awards to her. She don't need it. She got three Oscars on her show. She's also the most nominated so woman. Woman in Oscar history. And she's going to get another one. She might just get another one. For what? For, um, for Florence Jenkins, Foster Jenkins, Florence Foster Jenkins. That's what she said. She was nominated last night, too. She was nominated before she didn't win. It's like, you know she's not going to win. Not unless it was like a real group. Like, I think she should have won for Dallas. Because she was excellent, but she didn't win. But it's always that one powerful performance when you just know. Well, she happens to serve that Oscar that she wore the bench. Yes. yes. She, the Iron Lady, did that. <laughs> I saw that. She did that. Like, that was How did they make her up to look like that? <laughs> to look and how did she pull it off? Even to the point where. When watching Margaret Thatcher in her 80s, and then when Margaret Thatcher had the dementia and how Meryl Streep was, because I couldn't, in the beginning, I couldn't understand who the fuck was she talking to. <laughs> but she was actually talking to her dead husband. Well, he was shot, he would appear, but I didn't realize that he was dead. And it was her dementia that was kicking in that was allowing, you know, it was just, it was, Meryl Streep did that, uh, and she deserved that Oscar. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the fact that Donald Trump then gets on Twitter, because then, uh, of course, Donald Trump's going to have our president of the United States, and he's going to be on Twitter. The president is left, because he ain't the president yet, well, he'll be the left this year. <laughs> okay, mind. So, he then gets on Twitter to totally, totally, totally go in on Meryl Streep. So he says, Meryl Streep, one of the most overrated <laughs> Actresses in Hollywood doesn't know me, but attacked last night at the Golden Globe. She is a Hillary Flunky who lost big. <laughs> Everybody said Hillary Flunky. For the 100th time, I never mocked a disabled reporter, would never do that, but simply showed him groveling when he totally changed a 16 year old story that he had written in order to make me look bad. Just more very dishonest music. No, Donald Trump. So then CNN, they showed the tweet, and then they said, okay, now we're going to show you the video then. Donald Trump, you totally mocked that disabled man. And had you said what you said and left and went on about it, maybe people would have said, no, he didn't mock him. But when you took your arm and started going like, oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. and then we saw the clip of how the man's arm is disfigured, it was a mess. Then, try then we know. Don't do that, because it might find you. Yeah, it's dead. But then we know that you were mocking that man, but yet for a year and some change now, you've been saying you have to get mocked that man. But we all know. Bitch, get into that man in that room. When you get up into that man, it's not funny. But when you get up into that man, you just see you seen the reports of him, every commercial you've seen him doing it. But then when you see the man, he's in a wheelchair, his arms kind of. No, he wasn't in a wheelchair. He wasn't in a wheelchair. No, he wasn't. He, but the picture I saw, he was standing up on his own two feet. I seen him in a wheelchair. Find the man. Yeah, this man is not in a wheelchair. What is his name? I don't know, but he's in a wheelchair. 
Like, you gotta look at the I know the guy. Not only just running a from scary movies, but yeah, they put the heart in the hand. But he, hey, he can type him and he's doing his job. He can do his job. Donald Trump, you tried it, and then you won't come for her. But anybody that knows anything about Trump, he waits until the next morning. It's name three, it's six or nine, but he's definitely no. But apparently, he did a, a, a late night interview with the New York Times. <laughs> oh man, they put the bail in New York Times. That's bullshit. Oh bitch, I thought I seen him in a wheelchair. He just looks like scary. He was about to make that sound scary for me. You're a bitch. You're telling the truth. Alright. Yeah, it's fine. Who can bitch me? Tell me you don't look like the scary. But anyway, that's what happens. Yes. And for you to say that she's overrated, Donald Trump. You no, know, you're overrated. You're an overrated comment. You know what I'm saying? That's what said. People was waiting to see. What are you going to say? They said, no, nope, you can't say failing. No, nope, you can't say underrated. No, nope, you can't say overrated. And he still shows overrated. Oh, man, I'm straight. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Bitch, are you kidding me? You spent that coffee out on that window screen like that. Because I had to rest with the girl. But I'll get it. That's going to leave a stain. No, it's not. That's going to come out. No, it won't. That's a window. The water's going to make it come out. Watch, watch this. Okay. Well, I don't live here. Trigger made me go different. How could you stay out the window? Bitch, you didn't go out the window. And that's not. And that's not here. But anyway. Moving the fuck forward. Yeah. Shout out to Mill Street. Shout out to Mill Street. Can, can you imagine if they just let Whoopi do all of those roles like they let Mill Street do? She's always. Mill Street always has a job. That's one thing you can't say about her. She never has a job. Every year she got at least two or three films out. Even if she gets nominated or not, she's just one of those actresses that just always gets a job. Now, just imagine if Black Hollywood had jobs like that for art actresses. And I'm not coming from Meryl Street, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Come on now, Cicely Tyson can play anybody. She's 92, she's still safe. 93, 92. She just had a birthday, I don't know. 92. And she's still saying she's still to Broadway show. Like, she's still a fucking guy. You mean to tell me you can't find a powerful, uh, uh, what you call them? You're the head of the, um, the head of the family. Uh, matriarch, you can't give her a good role. We don't have any directors, and I know we do. Like, come on, we need a good fucking film where, you know, like how. Like how White Hollywood be in all of these oh, stuff. Who's talking about again? I'm just talking about movies, period. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Well, not just her. Because there's it's plenty of actresses like uh, Viola Davis and um, Angela Bassett and um, my, Loretta Devine. She's one of my favorite actresses. I feel like, like you can't Davis. have a powerful movie. See, I feel like, like Viola Davis is doing her thing. Yeah. I think I would probably give more to Angela Bassett. Because Viola Davis is doing her thing right now. She's definitely... The top black actress. Yeah, why is Angela Bassett on a TV show? She needs to be in movies, winning awards. She hasn't been out there for an Oscar in 24 years. It's time for them to stop fucking playing. And they robbed her from playing Angela Bassett. I mean, uh, yeah, Tina yeah. Turner. They still was Tina fucking Turner. And I mean, they did all of them. They all did that film. Everybody, from Jackie on down to little boys getting beat up, from running my heart to the, uh, uh, when he was in Tennessee, so on that bus. Yes, yeah. And, 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 and Jennifer Lewis was driving. I, 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 <laughs> she woke up and he woke up in that bed. Because she wanted that. Like, she, she wanted that like, body. She wanted that body. I'm saying that. Uh, you fight them for two. Listen. I get those ass with them. Can you imagine, bitch? Go in there. Like, bitch, what? Nah, I don't want to talk about those that didn't get it now. You got to get out of that situation. <laughs> get, get the blood out. You got to find you a highway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no man, what's that? She needs to get your ass from right above the highway. She brought yeah. this ass yeah. 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 in one of the tightest spaces she was fine. She, she said, come on, that should be that's your best shot. Yeah. You won't get me no fucking more, okay? Yeah. 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 And they won't yeah. send that hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Money yeah. and boots. <laughs> Money and boots. And then he had the best ball scene in the morning before we go to sleep. Yeah, and she got the fuck out. Man, she got out of there and played frog and bitch getting running across the streets, almost got hit by a car. This is going to take a reminder. 
Okay. okay. What well, she had the money for? It. Well, no, she didn't. No, she said, I promise you. Oh yeah, she did. Oh yeah, that guy told him no bread. It's all right, Mister. Let's have a. I wouldn't have charged her right then. Yeah, I was looking to go on her door. You ain't shit. She would have stayed for free. Because she would have been talking about me as a manager. How did I stay? Yeah. Hey, ever try something so good you get hungry just thinking about it at red lobster's big festival of shrimp get your perfect pair for just $15.99 choose two of six new and classic shrimp creations like old new firecracker red shrimp exploding with flavor yeah they are or try new creamy shrimp linguine and new sweet bourbon brown sugar grilled shrimp flavors like these are big and for just $15.99 they can't last so hurry in
the backing track audio was not there, so she couldn't go along with it. So she was claiming that, oh, she couldn't hear. But I didn't see an earpiece in her ear or anything like that. And then, once it went from that, it went until we belong together. And she was halfway, she was like, like, bitch, I'm this second, I don't give a fuck. The worst so much, Carol look from behind, hammering Sean Mott. Yes! Well, I'm just trying to get a safe face. Okay? She might have been drunk. Because I am there. 
you listen, Britney Spears, because she not her right frame of mind, even remembers to keep it right, keep it together. Yay! When she listen, you can tell she might be a half second long, but she commits to it. She can do a little bit. Commit. Jenny, commit. Yeah. Madonna, commit. Yeah. You need to watch these lip makers and learn how to do it. But see, I think the problem is, I think what it is, Kevin, that Mariah Carey is, I'm not going to say not used to it because I'm sure she's been doing it the past seven years now. But remember, I think Mariah Carey, in her day, she was a singer. <laughs> she went on stage and she sang, unlike the women that you name. But she sang. But I'm just I'm saying. I'm sure that some of them sang. Yeah, but they didn't sing like Mariah. Well, Ricky never sings. Okay, but you know, it's, it's part of the show with Janet when she's not dancing. Yes, she sings a lot. Well, yeah, but I mean, for the so majority, majority of Janet's show and the yeah. show is them dancing. Bitch, can you make, make a singer dance? Be honest, I make it right. Yeah, she got back with Janet. Yeah, she definitely got back with Janet. Everybody in her 20 years, you ain't never seen her do nothing like that, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she let you know. She let you know, bitch. And when I am. Of the choir 
speak out and say that they did nothing for me. <laughs> they got more love. <laughs> um, um, uh, this will be the shortest. There's this young lady who I've never heard of, but she's a new boy. Yes. 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 And then he's a Marcel's and Scott like a bitch. She's not watching. We'll need you guys to redo all that work. Oh, that's okay. That's not good. No. Whatever it takes. We're really running into some issues here. What? What? Yeah! <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> One thing that surprises consumers the most is the quality of plans, and that each plan on the marketplace must cover 10% Okay, guys, okay, okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go, 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 I jumped right on her. Go to nystateofhealth.ny.us or call 1-855-355-5777 to find out more. Donald Trump is just not a good person 
and all the things that he said about people bullying and everything, is it worth the exposure on somebody's platform like his? I don't think so. And I, I can understand why the alumni is upset. And if this president of Talladega um, University, if he's so committed to this plan, I want to know why did he cancel this interview with Roland Martin? Because he's supposed to do an interview with Roland Martin. You know Roland Martin got that ass together. So he canceled that. I just, I just think that it's not right. But also, this country does need to unite. We do need to unite. Because right now we are so divided, but I wish it, would, it could be on another platform and not on Donald Trump's platform, because he hasn't shown us anything, but only thing he can do is hate. He hasn't shown us anything where we can say, oh, it's love and it's compassion. He's, he really feels strongly about this. He probably does feel strongly, excuse me, about jobs and about that's it. I'm thinking of his jobs. He really wants jobs. That's not a Yeah, he really don't want to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. That's the Republicans coming for him. But it's, it's going to be times where they keep clashing. But we'll, we'll just have to wait and see this out. But if the college really wants to perform, if they really truly want to perform, I say go ahead and perform. Well, no, they are doing it. They are performing. Yeah. I told you to say that you came on to CNN and told Donald Trump. Yeah, I don't know what well, I'm sure some money is involved that we don't know about. Well, listen, I listen, I, and that's why you listen. If money is involved, but see, that all goes back to the exposure for them. Because, like I said, now don't, don't, don't shoot me in the head, or whatever the case may be. Whatever, don't shoot me. But I've never heard of Talladega University. You know, some of you may have heard of it. Probably some of you from down south, or may, or if you don't live down south, but and you've heard of it. I've never heard of Talladega University at all until this incident. And I see both sides, but I also see from the university standpoint, they may need more exposure. They may need more money. You know what I mean? They may need that boost so that more people, more African Americans can know about this. Well, maybe they need to join Battle of the Bands and make a name for themselves that way because they all well, maybe they're not good enough for Battle of the Bands. Well, hell, I don't you know. know. Battle of the Bands. They, are, they, need to they always have these big Battle of the stuff. Like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I know some more. Yeah, but maybe they're not, well, maybe they were in Battle of the Bands. They just never wanted the damn thing. Who knows? It's just, they just need more exposure. It's just like us. We would need, listen, how about this? Let me tell you something. I'm going to be honest. I'm gonna be, can I be honest with y'all? Uh-oh. I am. I am. <laughs> if the inauguration committee called us today or tomorrow and said, listen, we are going to have a stand, a booth, for different YouTubers to come and <laughs> uh, report the inauguration from their own person used to box. I would say, hell oh, yes, I'm the up. I'm going. Yeah, that's that's right. exposure for us. Right, so that's what they're saying. As long as, they, as, long as you know Donald Trump, as long as the speaker say, well, we fail. Now, it doesn't mean that we are supporting Donald Trump. Yeah. We're reporting the inauguration. And they're not performing. Yeah, but they're not supporting Donald Trump by performing. They're performing in the inauguration. Now, great. When Barack Obama won, when he had both of his inaugurations in 2009 and 2013, I'm sure that there were bands and whatever the case may be that performed during his inauguration parade that many of the people who performed didn't vote for Barack Obama. You know what? But you know what else is going on? They got, they got an anti-Trump pro-rally going on. Not even a rally. It's like a... It's like a... It's like a rebuttal to the inauguration as a line's performing and things like that. Maybe that Who's ever running that program? Maybe they should get Talladega University. I hope we say the right name. Yeah, it is. Maybe we should get Talladega University to perform with us instead of performing at Trump's inauguration. Yeah, but they, that can give them more exposure. But they won't be but, yeah, but exactly. So then they're not getting any exposure. They're getting exposure from the in-house people who are seeing. But anyway, let me tell you this. Anyway. I don't watch two Barack Obama inaugurations. Do I remember any of the schools and colleges no. that were formed? You don't. Hell no. But that's you. We're talking about no. who's to say that the people who were watching on that day didn't call up them schools or the mans. That's what I'm 
referring to, it doesn't necessarily mean that 40 years later you won't remember, because I don't remember any of them either. But on that particular day or that week, somebody may have called them up and said, people like you to come. You know what I mean? Like, I get I get it. I get it. And Solange, and their thing is not going to be televised. You're going to be talking about Donald Trump's inauguration when you talk about Solange. Unless Solange is going to have a damn fucking concert outside the damn White House, or on the street of the White House, that's the only reason how we're going to be talking about it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's supposed to be like a big thing and everybody's supposed to be going to it. Yeah, but who do you think on January 20th you're going to see on your TV? Solange's party with Donald Trump's going No, of course we're going to see Donald Trump, but you know there's going to be people protesting. It's going to be. Of course there's going to be people protesting. Next Friday. 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 Some other method to track your miles, you're likely losing money. 
When you miss tracking just one trip, you lose up to $5 or more. Don't make the mistake of not tracking your miles. Get Mile IQ. It's an app that puts money back in your pocket. Whenever you get in your car and drive, it automatically by itself detects, logs, and calculates your miles. You don't need to do anything. At the end of the year, you have all the information you need in an IRS compliant report. So how does Mile IQ automatically track your miles? The app uses smart drive detection technology to create a drive log on your smartphone. Just turn it on once and Mile IQ does all the work. You never have to remember to track your miles again. Mile IQ allows you to categorize your miles. It will ask you if your trip is business or personal. Simply swipe left or right. If you forget, you can always go back and classify your trips later. Mile IQ will remind you when there's drives to classify. You probably think that you overestimate the miles you report for taxes. The truth is, most people are underestimating. That means that you're likely losing money. How many more miles could you deduct if Mile IQ did it for you automatically? Don't think you're missing business miles? Try Mile IQ for free, and you'll be amazed at how many business miles you are actually driving. What's the first thing the IRS checks when they audit you? Your mile deductions, duh. Mile IQ puts all your trips in an IRS-compliant log so you know you're covered. You'll get weekly and monthly summaries of your mileage log, and come tax season, all your drive history is ready to go, hassle-free. Mile IQ is rated a 5-star app on iTunes and is the number one performing finance app in the App Store for 10 months in a row. Mile IQ is the only trusted app for hundreds of thousands of users in all 50 states. You can try Mile IQ for free right now. Mile IQ pays for itself in one 11-mile trip. Your miles are valuable. Don't trust them to pen and paper. Get Mile IQ and try it free today. And because of the racial tensions in America, so bad about what? I don't know. And, and if I was Big Daniels, I would have shut my mouth. And because most people don't even care that it's a white lead. So far, this story is good. You got people leaving the false carriage, you know, stand somebody up. You got one girl that's Billy Krabs and Naomi Campbell's daughter. She don't want people to know that she's their daughter, that she just wants to be famous on their own. They go to Atlanta, they find Queen Latifah, who was the, the foster mothers. She was, they were in foster care, but she was their godmother, mm -hmm. and their mother died because she was on drugs and stuff. And Queen Latifah's character, she was writing. The uh, yeah, the, the uh, for, for, yeah, yeah. He's saying that she was their mother, she wants to take them back, but she had fucked up, which we'll find out. Was she can on the store? But it's good. I watched the first two, I, I, I watched one episode then, I think because I wanted to watch before the, like, the main main episode came on. Which, so you got this Lawrence in it, you got Maya Scott in it. It is a great show, and it's not like it's not like Empire where it's like, oh my God, everybody is a celebrity and everybody wants a piece of this show. This storyline is great. Shout out to Naomi, Naomi Campbell too. Yes, she is coming out. Yes, she's doing her thing. And I always envisioned Naomi Campbell as being this big time supermodel. I think I envision Naomi Campbell the way a lot of people envision Beyonce. Whereas she's just this big time Diva. <laughs> big time diva. Like, I don't know about oh, she is a diva. She is a diva, but I think that the my vision of her, her my vision of her would never have been her doing these types of things. Yeah. Like, I always envision her just simply on the runway, because that's where she's the queen at on the runway. So for her to be tackling TV yeah, shows, I'm like, wow, like, that's what's up. You know, dude, she can't always be with good in here, so. <laughs> but at the same right now, well, clearly. I Mariah is better with somebody, I don't know. Shut up, Kevin. She's better by herself. Because she can't keep a man that oh, a man that can submit. And she can't make it too much of a man who makes too much money of her because it's just like Mariah needs to be by herself. Mariah's that type of person that she just needs uh everybody uh, needs love. She needs a uh, uh, a companion. Yeah. That's what she reminds me of. Or ask somebody that's going that she can run too much. Somebody's going to know how to put things with the yeah. And that's why she's that. Nah, she thinks that the put us with them over. Hell yeah! 
I can tell that it must have down with her. Let me tell you some over the years when you really pay attention to Seven, I think I I watch over a lot. Just watch her. And you can tell how she gets when she's with Stephen. When she's with Stephen, I feel like Oprah is like, this is my man and he's the end of my house. Like, you know what I mean? Which I think is a beautiful thing. That's her man. You know, that's her man. And I think Stephen and I basically knows his place. No, I don't because see, I, I used to think the same thing about Stephen until I learned more about Stephen Graham. And this man is a big time executive of his own. Like, he ain't got billions of dollars like Oprah, but this man is just as rich. Like, he does his own thing. And I think a lot of people feel like when we look at Stephen, it's just being Oprah with his boyfriend. No, this is a money making executive man behind this. He's one of those behind the scenes type guys. And that's why a lot of us feel like, oh, he's just Oprah's boyfriend. And, you know, but no, he does his own thing. And I think once when I'm really learned about him because I saw the show that was strictly so deep on him and I was just like wow nothing he was watching and I realized what you know, this was uh, I don't know what you this was a few years ago but when I really realized the type of person he was and what he does behind the scenes I was just like now I get why Oprah's with him she is with someone who matches her I don't want to say talent but talent he's talented in his own right he's a money maker in his own right he's an executive in his own right yes his girlfriend or his woman is whatever just happens to be open one be the billionaire but Stephen graham is oh, like if he was to leave open today and tomorrow that man would not miss the fucking bill because he got money out the ass he's a very smart guy and i think once i learned it about him and i started really watching how they interact with each other Oprah really loves that man and he really loves her and you can tell that he respects her and she respects him. This is my man, this is my woman, and that's how it's gonna be. And when I get around Stephen, I get like all goofy eyes as a girlfriend, because I know this is the man, and I need the man, and I'm this woman, and but nobody, you know, I just love that about him. But yeah, I just feel as though she needs, Mariah Carey probably needs somebody like Stephen. She needs to stop trying to marry every fucking body that she starts dating. And they're getting wet dresses made that you're not even gonna fucking wear. That's when you know you got too much money. <laughs> Did you watch the movie today? No, I'm going to watch that all because uh, she's going to die. I love her. She fucking, this is the first time I've seen her. They fucking give her one <laughs> Donald Trump wasn't making fun of that man. She knows who she was. She, he, she, 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 she was just going off the head. You got to see it. What we just go through just... <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go with Lee Daniels. Don't be saying that uh you're trying to make white people feel better. Yes, there's things going on, but I don't think people even notice. How did we get on Oprah from Naomi Campbell? I was I just don't I just don't agree with that standpoint. Then when TMC cornered you, you try to act like you ain't know what they were talking about. Lee, you have a good story going on. No one cares about the color. People care more about the characters and the storylines, and that's why I watch a show. And, yeah, and and it's and it's good so far. I just hope it don't go left if this show takes. A, I'm glad it doesn't have that power like Empire. It doesn't have a Terrence Howard or um, what's her name? What's her name? Taraji Taraji. Taraji. You got actors that you don't know, and this is a show that's going to gradually take over. But it doesn't need to go left with all of the celebrity appearances. And I think that's what kind of killed Empire's spark to me. This is a good show. Don't make it about color. Don't make it about race. Stop talking about race. This is the TV show that you want everyone to watch. Uh -huh. And keep it at that. And Tyler Perry, too. Like, don't even talk about the color. Yes, you have a show with white people now. Now I heard you got black people on it, but you were upset that. Um, black people were made that you had a whole white show. Yes, you've given jobs to everybody. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even pay them no mind, Tyler Perry. You know what you have done for the past 15, 20 years with hiring everybody for movies, for TV shows, with your plays. You have helped everybody in this industry. So, ain't nobody thinking that you got a problem with hiring black people. Go out there and get that white money. If you, if you want to do a show with white cats, go ahead and do it. You have enough money. Forever. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do, Tyler. Now let's go.
So thank y'all for watching today's show. Is that our new thing? Yeah. Damn, I didn't know that thing was gonna make noise like that. I had to make this thing. So we we're gonna go ahead, but we'll be we'll be back later on this week with the new video. I don't do nothing stupid. Who's going to the inauguration of protest? Hit me up and let me know because I might just do it. Let's go. 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 Let's go.